Hello all of my faithful fans, it is Sinuyon and I am back bringing you another episode of Pathologic. Well, that was pretty weird. She spun. Alright, so I think last time we established that we wanted to go to the town hall place. So let's try and figure out which building... That's the theater. Cathedral. Okay, so this is the sloth. No, that's not it. Where's the town hall? Shelter? No. Town council, there it is. Alright, so let's go across this bridge over here and make our way to that town council place. Where's the bridge? You are so weird looking. What a surprise! What is this? Let us trade? What? Tell me about the theater. Yes, this is most interesting. All most important things happen there. They make such shows, puppet performances about the shadow and the orphan winner, about the baby thief and about the scientist who blasted the world. A lot of different things. So there are puppet shows? Not only, also the masks act there at the evening, but I cannot go to these shows. Why? I am small. It's clear. Alright, uh, yeah, uh, let's find that town center place. Right, so go forward and take a right at the next right. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Nothing. Just nothing. Another child. Uh, what? Look at that thing in the top left. Did I just randomly find that? Or did I lose it? What's going on? They told me so much about you. Oh, oh. What do you have in your pockets, kid? And to me about you? You seem cheerful, and this is good. I don't understand. It, it, okay, that's cool. I'm confused about your intentions, young child, but I'm just gonna keep on walking. I'm guessing this is a town hall. Yep. Alright, let's enter. Hmm, looks nice. I'm not seeing anybody. I'm trying to figure out who killed Simon, supposedly immortal guy. Not having much luck. Let's try these doors. Oh, this is the prison side. Whoa. This isn't the sort of prison that I'm used to seeing. Those look like a dead person's feet. Uh... This is really weird. I need to find town officials and talk to them about this. Alright. Why aren't there any officials in the- That's pretty creepy. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This game is really, really, really weird. It's creepy. It's weird. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I mean, I can look at my quests, and it says, Find out who killed Simon Cain, the immortal man. Oh, I want no less than the deceased relatives if this... If it is the authorities that are behind this or not, regardless the desire to punish this killer, blah blah blah, I already read it to you guys. Where am I supposed to go? I just checked out this town center place. Let's head to the theater. This game is so confusing. Don't know what I'm supposed to do. I think I'll take this. I don't know what it is, but I'll take it. Nope. I don't understand what I'm doing. Lady, why are you looking at me? You're always looking at me. That's right, turn around. What? You got a problem with me? We know all about you. Okay. Why are you pleased, girl? We have almost caught the transparent cat. Will you come to look at it? Where did you find such cat? Famous pale cat. It has transparent eyes of emerald color, gray-haired wool, and transparent body. Really? The interiors are visible? Light passes through it. It is very beautiful, and the main thing, it is not visible in darkness, and the mice and rats do not hear it, for it walks silently. It is the cat of Pale Tubolnik. Who's? Come on, you would not believe all this same. Come to look at the cat when it is dark near the twelfth warehouse. The password is Koluton. I shall come if I do not forget the password. Okay, so, guys, I'm going to take one second to write this down. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I took note of this. 
I will make sure to come back and do that, because, I mean, what else am I going to do, you know? So let's check out these trash cans some more. Nothing? Alright, cool. I'm going to look in this theater, because that kid was talking about the theater being... No, open! Are you kidding me? The theater is the only thing that I had an idea of doing. This is hell. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Viewers, please... Tell me, what am I doing? This game makes no sense to me. I don't understand. Alright, viewers, I was looking around at my different information things, and I found this. I was just hitting buttons, and it says, Four hours remain until sunset. Shebnak will kill you before nightfall if you don't find out what shape she is planning to take to get close to you. Pray, make haste. Too many people can't find you to tell you of the monster's features. I am waiting for you at the stem, the Dubilshik area. So that's where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna head to the stem. So, uh, I think I hit L? Yeah, I hit L to do that. And another thing I found, which is really weird, if you guys can explain to me what the hell this is. What is this? Do you see this? What is this? I don't understand it. It's weird. It's like night vision, sort of, but here, let me look at the map, and I'm gonna find where the stem is. So, nope, not the stem. Not the stem. I'm looking for the stem. Where is the stem? Tavern? Oh, stem! It has a circle! How did I not see that? I'm blind as a bat! Alright, so, time to turn around, and as I did before, I'll go ahead and pause the video, and when I'm there, I will join you guys again, and you will join me. I will be right back. Alright, viewers, I am back, and this seems to be the stem. So the door better let me in, because if it doesn't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yes! Alright, let's find... Katharina. Are you Katharina? Marriage makers are coming to us. A duel should end with off. the death of one of the fighters. That's the right point of view on battles. The conflict of two powers will eventually turn into a battle between good and evil. Why are you telling me this? A savage philosophy, I never want the way... A savage philosophy. I don't have anything metaphysical in mind. A very particular battle is what I mean. You are one of its participants, Bachelor Denkovsky. Do you prefer to play on the good side or otherwise? I prefer to win. Those are the words of a warrior. I truly wish you victory, Bachelor. However, I don't think victory is at all possible in this battle. Thank you. Simon, what? The land has cast out a monster from the bowels to bridle his impudence. You are a brave man, Bachelor Denkovsky. Why? The fight with this enemy, it is very unlikely to end in your favor. Does a cannibalist of clay and bones leave traces like that? It's only a Morok. They see it this way, it's easier for them. The word fight is a bit too strong, I'm only ex assisting George in finding the killer. Sorry to upset you, but you will have to fight to the death. Even if this is to be seen as a metaphor, the continuation is ambiguous. If you don't find out who this is before nightfall, you will die. How do you know all this? I am a clairvoyant person. What's the nature of your visions? This is not what should interest you at the moment. You should be interested in how many minutes you have left. Not that many. I don't throw predictions around. The others will tell you how many times they have come true. Take my words seriously. Okay. Crap, well, what am I supposed to do now? Uh... Let me look at L again. Okay. A mistake of great vexation has occurred. I have been told to arrive at the town tonight. My messengers must have missed you on your way from the station, and you are most likely unable to find the square of bridges in time. I am begging you to come to the horns without a moment's hesitation. With respect and impatience, Simon Kane. But isn't Simon the one who got killed? Alright, uh, Isidore Barak's message. I have found out with great sadness that the authorities have ordered the closure of your laboratory. 
the place that became famous due to your discoveries in Tanatology. Is it true that they called your work a scientific extremism? If there is someone that thinks studying the matters of natural death, aging, and necrosis to be a hopeless business, I have found a case that could shut them up and restore your good name. The ruler of our town, Simon Cain, is a living example of truly inexplicable longevity. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the horns and check out what's going on there. So I'll go ahead and step out and I'll pause the video until I find the horns. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, viewers, I said I was going to the horns and to be honest, I don't know where the horns are. But I think I need to talk to Victor first, so I'm right over here. I'm gonna come up here and try talking to Victor. And hopefully that helps me to further the story. Because that's the main thing I'm interested in right now. I'm sort of curious, I mean, they're talking about how I'm gonna die at the end of this day if I don't find the killer. Which, I mean, what the hell is this? Now I'm not so sure if I really want to meet Victor. Look at his house. Um, Victor? This guy is creepy as hell. We resist our passions, not the famous Dr. Denkovsky. Your arrival is a great honor for us. Victor Kane at your service. Daniel Denkovsky at yours. I can predict that things that have become ordinary for us will probably make you feel discomfort or even disgust. I would like to smoothen that impression. You know, our small society has fallen out of the continuous round of events that the rest of our community is experiencing. Time leaves us out. His eyes look like him. he's like a snake or something. He seems evil. I think he killed his brother. What do you mean? I mean the traditions. Games that we play with passion will most probably be of no interest for you. People could seem eccentric, naive, or even somewhat deranged. Please, take it easy on us. Don't judge us too strictly. I will try not to disappoint you. The best way to be deceived is to consider yourself more artful than others. George told me everything. Frankly, he told me very little, but enough to astound me. He said your story will be more informative. So you've agreed to help us, have you? Yes. May I ask why? The interests of the killer have miraculously coincided with the interests of those who wage war on my discoveries. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I am prepared to answer all your questions. When was Simon seen for the last time? He let Isidore go, and an hour later he came out to us into the hall. He said he's off to the inner chamber, inner chamber and will not receive any more visitors. He also ordered to stay away from the chamber. He told everyone in the house to restrain from eating meat and drinking water for a week. He was found dead in the morning. How is he found dead? Or how is he found? The servants found him in the morning. The room was in ruin. Everything that could break was broken. He dis his disfigured body was found in a twisted position with signs of terrible torment on his face. His neck and spine were broken, I think. No one touched him. The body is in the inner chamber at the moment and will stay there until the required period of time expires. Are you suspecting anyone? No, all I know is that Isidore was with him in the evening. No one will ever be able to enter the inner chamber against Simon's will. Only some higher being. Could the killer have been waiting for Simon there? Some angel of death or something? Let me ask about waiting there. No, you have no idea what the inner chamber is. Entering it is just the same as entering another man's head, or perhaps a picture on a piece of paper. It's impossible. What is the inner chamber? It's hard to explain. It's a place where he worked, if you like. Something like a creative laboratory with outstanding inner space. Practically a geometric building, with the exception of the door, which was always visible, allegorically speaking. I, I don't understand. It's something like an equation, or a puzzle with mirrors. In any case, the killer couldn't have been hiding in there, take my word for it. Well, Simon managed to get in there. He could perform much more impressive things. It isn't for nothing that the people revere him. I mean revered him. Okay, how is it that I can help you? Just take a look around. Trust your intuition. Do what you want. Speak to whoever you feel the need to speak to. Look for the killer, Doctor, and you will find him. I am sure your rational thinking will help you. So the only key in this case is Isidore. How can I find him? 
I will show you, but you must be careful. Simon's killer, whoever it is, cannot be an ordinary person. I cannot even imagine a person playing that role. I am afraid that it can only be fate in the form of some mysterious monster. I don't believe in fate. Alright, so I guess this is where I'm gonna have to go. Over here to where Isidore Barak lives. Well, I think I'm gonna save that for the next episode, you guys. I... It's a long walk, so I'll start the episode outside of his building. But I can't wait until I do it. I can't wait to f continue the story. It's really interesting. I'm really curious about what's going to happen once this day ends. If you're interested in this, like, comment on it, tell me what you think, subscribe. I love all you subscribers. I will see you later, and don't forget to feed your pets.